What's going on, y'all? This is your boy Crucial Keys. Welcome back. I'm so glad to see y'all. It's been a minute. Uh, it's been a lot going on. I ain't got to tell y'all what's been going on. We got the pandemic going on. We got all this crazy stuff going on. Uh, it's been crazy. But uh, I'm glad to see y'all. Uh, took a little break because, you know, sometimes you got to just step away for a while. You know, I had to spend some time with my wife. You know, my family, you know, because that's, you know, that's the most important thing. You know, God blesses you with a family, you know, especially, you know, your own immediate family, your wife, you got kids and stuff like that. It's nothing more important than that. Uh, so I had to just step away, you know, just for a minute. Uh, but. God has blessed me and my wife and my family. We've been healthy, you know. I hope you guys are healthy and, you know, safe and everything like that. Uh, places are starting to open up. But I felt like it was time for me to come back and, uh, you know, just get back into the groove, you know. Uh, I know a lot of us been stuck at home for for since March so some of us are getting back into work and you know all that good stuff hopefully you guys are doing okay uh, but God is good you know even in the midst of trials and tribulations you know trials come to make us strong so you know we just gotta endure you know so anyway I'm just glad to see you guys. Um, yeah, so we're gonna just get right back into it. Y'all ready? Here we go. All right, guys. So we're gonna get right into this. So I know you guys know who Jesus Molina is. If you don't know who he is, please go check him out. Incredible uh, musician, just phenomenal. So I was watching one of his videos and. I was, you know, listening to him play. I was like, this guy's is amazing. So he was playing some chords or whatever. So I was like, huh, I like that. So you know how I do. I learned them and I always share, you know, with you guys everything that I, that I learned, you know, so, um, Here's the chords. Here's what he played. That's what he played. So when I heard, I was like, whoa. So he was basically talking about uh, taking one note and reharming it, like just taking this one note and playing different chords under it okay so I'm gonna do it again do a little slower so F is gonna be your melody you're gonna just stay on the F the whole time Okay, so let's break that down. You got your first chord. Okay, that's to be diminished seven. All right, so that's your left hand. All right, so that's your right hand. Okay, so you got. It. That's your first chord. Second chord. Now remember, F is gonna stay at the top. All right, you got an E flat nine thirteen. It's your left hand, right hand. All right. So so far we got. Let's go to the next chord. So 
So that's the A flat 13 sus 2 sus 4. Okay? Left hand, right hand. All right? So, so far we got next chord. You got a D major 713, D flat major 713. All right. So, left hand, right hand. So, this is what we got so far. And you can add that A flat in there too. All right, so next chord. So you got, that's a C minor 11. Left hand, right hand. So here's what we got so far. Okay. Next chord. So you got an A flat minor six add eleven over B. Alright. So your left hand, you got B and E flat. Your right hand, you got an A flat, D flat over A flat. All right, so what we got so far? We got Next chord. The next chord is that's a B major, B flat major seven thirteen. All right. So you got left hand, right hand. All right. So let's put it. Let's put that. Let's you know. Let's see what we got so far. <laughs> I'm a little rusty, y'all. So here we go. First chord. Let's go to the next chord. All right, that's a F flat nine thirteen. Okay, left hand, right hand. You see, we never leave F. Okay, so let's put that together. Last chord. That's the last chord right there. That's an E flat, flat nine, add nine, sharp nine over G flat. Okay. So let's put it all together. Okay. Here we go. Okay. 
So you can take those chords, apply them wherever you can. Uh, I thought they was I thought it was a nice progression, so I was like, you know, I should learn that and uh, give it to you guys. So you could take it, you know, do what you want with it. So I'm gonna do it one more time. Okay. All right. So, uh, let's go to the next part. So, <clears throat> in the same video that I was watching, he did this other progression, and it was it just blew me away because it's some of my favorite chords. All right. So this is what he did. <laughs> Now, oh y'all just don't know. Like those are those are some of my favorite chords to play. Like the like those chords. <sighs> like if I was able to play any chord all the time, it would be those. Just being real. Like, like, uh, like those chords, like, it's just something about those. But anyway, let me get back on track. So, what he did was play like in kind of a, like an arpeggio. So obviously it's in B flat. So the the way I took this part is to play it at the end. Like this is the ending of whatever you're playing, song progression, whatever it is. So this will be your ending. So you play. So that's that's how you would end it. So I'm gonna do it again. I'm gonna slow it down. I'm gonna slow the chorus down real quick. So this is the chords. Okay. I'm gonna do it again. Don't worry. So we got. I'm gonna break it all the way down. Okay. Here we go. So first chord. All right. We got an E7 sharp nine over a. Flat. So this is your right hand. I mean left hand. Your left hand is only going to be playing one note. Okay. So your left hand gets a little break. All right. So your left hand is just playing A flat. Your right hand is playing these notes. All right. Now, before we continue. As you can see, and for the theory guys out there, I hope you see what's going on. All right, there's a tritone involved. Okay, now if you can see it. You, you you obviously can play obviously, but for the beginners out there, if you can't see it, it's the a flat and the D. All right. That there's a tritone. So here's what here's what makes this so dark. So you got the tritone. Then you put the chorus around it. All right. You're putting literally an E minor over B around it. Then so that's the first chord. Let's go to the second chord. And all you're doing is going half step, half step up. All right, so that's the next, next chord. Left hand, right hand. As you can see, we still got a tritone. There's your tritone, all right? So you got that? 
So we got. Let's go to the next chord. This time you're going to move a whole step up. Not a half step, a whole step. Okay. Still got a tritone involved right there. Okay. Left hand. Right hand. That's your right hand. See, when you play it just like this, it sounds normal. Like, when you play it like this, it sounds like a regular church chord. But when you put this B in there, it changes. Like... Like, you, anyway, I'm, I'm just excited to be back, y'all. I'm sorry. Anyway, I hope I missed y'all. I hope y'all miss me too. Yeah, anyway, uh, so that's your third chord. So, so far, we got so you got your first chord, then you go a half step up, all right, then you got your third chord. You go a whole step up. All right. So let's keep going. So, so far we got. Let's go to the next chord. Now you see this? This is your left hand. Just playing an A. All right. Your right hand is playing a F major seven over C. Okay. There's no tritone in here. Okay. Got that. So let's see what we got so far. We got one, two, three, four. And then you go back to the chord you started with. Okay. Okay. That's the chord you started on. So this is what we got so far. I don't want to confuse anybody. All right. That's what we got so far. Okay. So what's next? Another whole step. Still got the tritones involved. Okay, that's the next chord. That's your left hand. That's your right hand. So what do we have so far? We got. Okay, so what's next? Here's the next chord. That's a D, D flat seven sharp nine over F. Okay, so you got your left hand, right hand. Now, from this point on, there's no new chords, okay? Playing the same chords. So this is what we got so far. What's next you just go up a half step back to that chord and then a whole step back to this your first chord and then your ending chord which is the chord you played already the D flat 7 sharp 9 over F so let's put it all together I'm gonna do it slow I'm gonna put it all together So that's the whole progression, okay? So let's give it a little bit of speed, okay? So you got... Okay? So here's the thing. You gotta approach this with an arpeggiation, so... Mm -hmm. 
that's what you play before the chorus. So this is the run that I'm doing, okay? I'll show you. So this is the finger. Oh, hold on one second, y'all. My bad. Okay, here we go. My bad. Uh, so we got... That's, that's the first part of the run. Okay. I'm going to do it again. Look at the fingers I'm using. Okay. So... Okay, next part. Okay, so here's what I did. Don't, 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 uh, don't get intimidated. When I finished that, I took my pinky and just started over again. Let me make sure I'm doing it. Okay, so yeah, so when we when we get to the pinky, we hit that and go right to the B flat. See that? Okay, it keeps you flowing down the keyboard, all right? So. So, I'm going to do it again. One more time. The best thing to do is practice this run with a metronome because it will get you on rhythm so you can do the run clean on rhythm all right so your timing could be on point when you do your runs and licks and stuff so so and you can stop wherever you want to but in this case we're going to stop on the b flat so so and then That's when you do that. So that's that's the whole thing. So oh sorry about that. And then you do the Alright. So I'm gonna do it again. It's the whole thing. So if you plan a song. I didn't do that before. Like, you don't have to play that little thing I played at the beginning, but. That's just to show that we're in B flat. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, so <sighs> that's it. I'm gonna do it one more time because I just like it. Uh, so I'm in B flat, you know, just chilling. 
Just chilling in B flat. like that you know so uh hope you guys uh enjoyed that make sure you learn the chords learn to run that's not a like that's not an easy run to do especially if you haven't been running like because I know a lot of people that use the front end of their hands to run, like they only use these fingers. Like, oh, that's hard. Yeah, that's hard. If you if you want to run, use all your fingers, cause just using the front end of your hand. Like, I need. I, I need all my fingers to run, so. Uh, but that run, in, it's like it's like you're going backwards while you're moving forward, like you're you're going down the keyboard, but your back your 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 the back end of your hand is like going backwards. So it's like, because you already hit that note, so there's D right there. But when you get here, see that? Your pinky is like, uh-uh, I wanna do that again. Like, like y'all, y'all, like your pinky is saying like, you hit it with your index finger, but your pinky is back here. It's all the way back here. And when your thumb hits C, your pinky is like, nope, I'm gonna stay here while y'all go down here. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So it's like, if you can't, a lot of people can't run with their pinky, train your fingers, like, you know, all the exercises, uh, especially, like I said, with a metronome. So if you do stuff like, uh, like like that's just an example like my pinky is getting worked out because you know a lot of people use the like i said the front the front end of their hand when they run and play they don't use their pinky a lot so your pinky doesn't build endurance and strength to be able to run and be like accurate and uh, with precision and strength to run with your pinky. Can't do it if you don't use it, so. don't practice with your pinky on both fingers your pinky will just be left out in the cold like I never get to hit notes I never get to do no licks or runs and stuff like like stuff like that Like that's hard if you don't do that often. Like your pinky is so important. But anyway, yeah, I just, 
I just miss you guys. So I'm just trying to get all this out, you know, get it, get it all out. But uh, yeah, you got the run. Ah. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I love you guys. Make sure you key in on that like button. Make make sure you subscribe to join the keys team. Make sure you hit that little bell that's over there. No, wait, it'll be somewhere like over there, down there. Uh, hit the bell so you get the notifications of the video. And uh, I love you guys. I'll see you. Hope you guys are safe. Make sure you guys wear masks, wash your hands, sanitize, all that good stuff. And I will see you guys next week. I'm out. Peace. Man, I am so rusty, dude. <laughs> rusty. Sorry, though. We're going to get back in the groove.